years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hi everybody, I'm Alex Bennett. This is the Ramble. We go till midnight Eastern time. And now it's time to check in with an old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, out to San Francisco, California from his rent control department on his... You're not using your clamshell for this, are you? Uh, landline. Landline. Probably not as good the as... The last the- one. <laughs> the last landline in America, apparently. This is Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen, America's landline lover. Uh, boy, yeah, you really you're you're you're, you're living in uh, the eighteen uh, hundreds uh, or something, aren't you? You would have been happy. Well, I was just reading about the landlines, how there's very few left, and the phone company doesn't want to support them, but they said they're actually they're really good because they have their own power supply, so in like in blackouts and things, they still work. Well, also, I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, when we've had blackouts and stuff, cell phones still work. The only problem is is that when you have the blackout, that you, it's only good for a certain amount of time before you run out of power, in which case... Right. You don't have any way to recharge the phone. That's that's the problem. Uh, Which was a problem in Marin a couple of weeks ago. The, the Mill Valley and up there, the power was out for five days. So people were driving. San Francisco was clogged with people from Marin coming down here to charge their phones and buy food and stuff. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they couldn't get gas yeah. in. Mar- they couldn't get gas in Marin because the the pumps were off. By the way, for you people in Marin, Marin, fuck you and your Teslas. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Charge that. Charge that, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. We. I said my sex life is like a Tesla, zero emissions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what do you know? We lost Larry Brown. I got to go call him back here. What happened? This is a problem with his landline. No, Larry is unavailable. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. We'll be. Um. He ended a good, on a good line. Let's see here. There we go. Wow. We got cut off. I have no idea what happened. You know, I mean, it could just be I'm using Skype and uh, to do a phone call, and uh, Skype has a tendency to f- go fuck you. Anyway, yeah. so you said uh, your uh, Teslas are like your uh, sex My life. My sex life is like a Tesla, zero emissions. Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Do you do that one on stage? Uh, yeah, occasionally. Somebody told me it was a great joke, and then it really gets a, doesn't get a big laugh, so maybe it wasn't. Wait, wait a minute. It's a great joke, and it doesn't. But it is a great joke, and it doesn't get a good laugh. No, not really. No. Why is that? I have no idea. I thought it would. Jeez, that's a funny, funny line. But anyway, so uh, uh, no, so I mean, if the electricity goes uh, at your place, uh, you're still in pretty good shape because the phones will continue the, working. The phone I, will work. Yeah, uh, I I was in a blackout here in New York City, and uh, the phones still worked. You know, the landlines still right. worked. Um, and in fact, you know, in the uh, back in I can't remember what year it was. It was not the big first one. It was like the second. Uh, uh, blackout they had and of course it was pitch dark in our apartment but I had one of those princess phones that lit up when you picked up the phone and mm-hmm. it had a light on it I mean no electricity and the princess phone had light so I was using that to read by really? yeah <laughs> that's great Yeah, yeah. you know uh, blackouts are fun for about the first night and then they're not fun anymore. Yes, you're constantly reaching for that switch that doesn't work. And you don't have blackouts. We don't have black. Didn't have blackouts in San Francisco, did we? We had brownouts. They called them. But we, we had well. I think we had. We didn't have power for about a day with the earthquake. Right. But that 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 well that was in various areas where the lines had been broken because of the earthquake. Like the, in the marina, we had no electricity. 
Yeah. You know, that's the reason that's the reason I had to move out for about 3 or 4 days and go s- sleep on other people's couches and so on. Here's the big I didn't know you did that. Yeah, the big radio star. Oh no, I wasn't on the air at the time. I think I was out. Yes, I was out of work at the time. I had been fired by right, Live in, 105. You left in July, I think. I yeah. Thinking, yeah. And and then the earthquake happened. I was looking for work, and then the earthquake happened. I went, well, there go my chances for finding any work. <laughs> you know. And that's why ultimately I went to Florida. I went to Florida and worked there while they were fixing my apartment in San Francisco, the apartment house in San Francisco, in which I would have had to move to another floor because it was going to be so noisy below where they were driving pylons into the ground and things like that to support the building uh to retrofit the building that uh i missed all that okay and then i left to florida and i came back but yeah i was during the earthquake and i'm sitting there and going fuck i can't find work and now this is going to make it really good you know so what did you do during the earthquake? Because you lived in the close. You didn't live in the marina. The marina, by the no, way. No, I was. I was so I was like a few blocks from you. I just uh, I, were you? Are your place in the marina? Yeah. I thought it was on the other side of Columbus. No, no, I'm at. Uh, and not Columbus, no. but uh, what, what's the main I'm, street? What's, I'm near Fort Mason. Uh, what's Chestnut. what's the main street that goes down to the bridge? It's that's Lombard. Uh, Lombard, excuse me. See, yeah. Columbus, Lombard, uh, which. Ends up being Curly Q down a hill. Um, but I thought you were on the other side of Lombard for me, but you aren't. No. Oh. So we, we're on, yeah, we're on the bad side. <laughs> what, but where are you? You're on landfill, in other words. We're on landfill, yeah. Yeah. Where were you? What street? It was near, uh, let's see, it's Lombard near, uh, <laughs> Goff, on you know, a Lombard near Goff. Oh, okay. Because uh, I I've never been to your place, but then again, I don't think anybody has. Very few people have. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, except except of course the hookers that are now stuffed <laughs> and living in your apartment. But when I die, it'll be like the, those uh, those news reels where they show the FBI agents just coming out with boxes. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and then on television, a neighbor saying he was such a quiet guy. <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> oh man, oh, isn't it isn't it wonderful? Uh, Why do we have? We always have this uh, comics. I think we have this interest, like in <laughs> like serial killers and people like that. I don't know why, but um, do, you, do you know what I found? Comics for a while, at least that I knew, were so inured of. Is that a good word? But did I just use a word that even exists? That's a good word, yes. It is a good word, and it, it, there is such a word as inured. Um, uh, uh, it was the godfather. Uh, That's true. C- certain comedians I knew, I think uh, 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 Stephen Pearl was one of them. We should have asked him. Pearl was huge in the godfather. It, it could literally recite the godfather, including the Italian. Wow. Yeah. And... Uh, I, I Pearl was was a big one on that, and you know who was the biggest on it? Richard Belzer could really? literally quote you every line in The Godfather. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, you know, I mean, it was uh, um, it, it was that was a big obsession with with uh, with comics, and I don't know why. And they also were obsessed with uh, Scarface. Yes, but you know why? Not the original Scarface with Paul Muni years and years and years ago. Pacino. But the one with Pacino because it was so fucking bad. In fact, it was Pearl who described it that uh, that it's it's a cartoon and it's almost amazing that the main characters don't wear gloves, you know, (laughs) like cartoon (laughs) characters. He says, you know, it's just like a big cartoon. It was it was maybe in my estimation one of the worst movies ever made. And it was uh I think it was Oliver Stone, wasn't it? It was it, it was Oliver Stone, yes. Uh did so he It was cartoonish, so I don't know why it, I think it was a big hit. But. Did he direct it or just write it? I don't think he directed it. Let me let me look it up here. Uh, Let's wiki that. <laughs> let, well, we, what we do is we uh IMDb it. Uh 
Come on, IMDB, let me see here. Scarface, 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 Garfacci. Uh, let's see, Scarface, and then we go to the Pacino. Um, it was directed by Brian De Palma, but it was oh, okay. written by Oliver Stone. You know. Wow. You know, lines like, you don't get a scar like this from eating pussy. You know. <laughs> Or say hello to my little friend. I mean, come I on. Know. It was a cartoon. It was a cartoon. Uh, and, uh, uh, and then getting Al Pacino, who is about as far from looking like he's uh, 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 Hispanic, to play Tony Montana. You know, just ridiculous. The whole thing was just absolutely off the wall. And one of the worst acting jobs, by the way, in the history of Al Pacino, who was, I think, had some pretty shitty acting jobs from time to time, you know. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, so I never. Th- Do you ever think Pacino was a good actor? I thought he was good in Godfather, but he was very. Uh, that was a very in Godfather. He was very restrained for the most. Well, part. that's because you got a director who restrained him. That he, you know, he is his first big, big, big job. All right, and you've got this director who is telling him what to do, and he pulled a great performance out of him. But after that, it was all everything was always over the top. I mean, even look at Dog Day Afternoon. Yeah, you know, it's all over the top. All over the top. You're right. Yeah, and 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 I just I just consider him a mediocre actor. You know, so. I, but what do I know? Everybody, you'll say, "Oh, Al Pacino, one of the greatest actors of all time." I'm going, what? You know, who would? Uh, who are some other actors that have had a long careers but were not good actors? Well, you know, I don't know. I it's hard to say because there are some actors that, as a motion picture actor, created a persona that is the reason why people would go and see their movies. In other words, you well, like, like Tom Hanks, all right? So you want to see in whatever Tom Hanks plays a little bit of Tom Hanks in there. You know, so uh, the question is: uh, Is Tom Hanks a good actor? I think I think he's he he can turn in a decent performance, but I don't think he has range. I don't think he can play all kinds of things. He's got a certain kind of thing he plays best. John so that would Wayne, be true of Clint Eastwood. Well, John was John Wayne a good actor or a bad actor? Uh, uh, Mort Saul told me better than. Most people think. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I would agree with that assessment. I think he was greater than most people thought because he knew how to play a scene, but he always played it as John Wayne. You went to mm-hmm. see John Wayne. You didn't go to see John Wayne in prosthetics trying to be Phil Spector or something, you know? Right. Uh, um, and uh, John Wayne... Uh, was, I think, for what he did, a a good actor. I mean, he's done some movies I love watching. There's a picture called The Common Cheros, which I say is the ultimate John Wayne movie for John Wayne being John Wayne, in which he keeps referring to this other character who's French as, hey, Monsieur. <laughs> you know, I mean... Uh, but, That's so classic, Wayne. <laughs> Monsieur. <laughs> Where are you going, Monsoor? <laughs> but I think he was smart enough to use the term Monsoor, you know, that the character would be that way. So, I mean, I, I you know, I, I, I hate John Wayne as a person. His politics just make me want to vomit. But as an actor, I love watching John Wayne. I have to admit it, you know. Yeah, that's- so apparently the, that that funny walk he had, co- he copied. That's the way his stuntman walked, so he copied that. I th- I think no, I think part of that walk was from uh, uh, gee, an old uh, an old. I'm trying to remember his name. An old uh, uh, silent uh, guy. Uh, he he at one time I saw an interview with him. He said that, that walk was kind of the way that guy walked in movies. Oh, okay. Um, um, uh, I'll remember his name after we're through here because I always remember things right after we're through here. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, you know, so I, 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 I put uh, 
people in a certain category as actors in movies, uh, to begin with, they're either movie actors or they're actors. All right? Movie actors have a persona. You go to see that persona. They take a certain kind of part. They play it well. Okay? Uh, there are also those people who are not actors. They're reactors. In other words, they're basically reacting to what's going on around them. But, I mean, then you have, you know, really strong actors who always play different roles. Uh, people don't remember this name probably, but Paul Muni always played different people, you know. And uh, he played Louis Pasteur, and he had a French accent, blah, 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 and that was acting. But, you know, uh, Catherine Hepburn was always the same in every movie, wasn't she? Yeah, pretty much. So was she a great actress? Or did she have a great film persona? Persona. Yeah, which makes her a great movie actor. All right? Yes, because like, that's uh, Steve yeah. McQueen or John or Yeah, Eastwood. Uh, but a great movie actor has a persona that people like to see, no matter what, you know, John, uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart. Uh, yeah, he could play sad, he could play happy, but he was always playing James Stewart. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was, a, he was a great movie actor. And so putting it in that context, I think maybe John Wayne was the greatest movie actor of all time. Wow. I mean, as a movie actor, okay? And we're not talking about being a good actor who can, you know, play different roles and disappear into the character and so on. There was no disappearing into a character for John Wayne. Yeah. You know? So you went to see John Wayne swagger. And that's why I liked him in the Comancheros. So, I got to see that. I've seen the, the Searchers. Is good. The Searchers is a great film. It's just a positively great film. It's probably the classic Western. Uh, uh, although, you know, there's one film that I always think of as a really classic Western. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Now, Tombstone. Do you ever see Tombstone? No. About uh, Wyatt Earp and, and the OK Corral and the whole thing. It was just a terrific Western. It was just wonderful. Uh, love that film. My old, uh, my old producer, Christy, used to love that film, too. She just, that was really? like her favorite film of all time. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you know. Um, how about movie actors that you liked? Who, who, who did you always enjoy watching? I like McQueen and... Uh I guess you got a lot of Anne Eastwood. They're just, they're just, yeah, they're not much range, but the the personalities are so strong. Yeah. What What do you think would have happened to? Like I've always argued this. Uh, would have happened to James Dean if he had lived? How would his career have gone? What would have been the arc of his career? Do you think? It could have gone two ways. It could have been he could have been a great actor, or he could have been kind of a just a just a Kind of a hack actor doing like really shitty films. A hack actor doing shitty films. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I think he probably would have. Uh, I I am I'm, I'm imagining that he would have. Uh, 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 I don't know. Had two careers. He would have had a career initially. Then it would have petered out. And then as time went on, he would grow into roles. And as he got older, he would uh, get other roles and eventually probably get some kind of Academy Award nominating roles when he was in his 50s or 60s. You know, that yeah. happens a lot to these people. Yeah. They, they kind of disappear for a while and then they come back. Um, I think that might have been what would happen to him. I, and I always like to tell the story about Mark Frost, uh, who did Twin Peaks with uh, David Lynch who I said to him, I said, I've always had the opinion that if, if uh, uh, James Dean were still alive, you would have hired him for Twin Peaks. And he says, oh, yeah, I would have made him the guy who owns the hotel. Uh, wow. <laughs> inst great. Instead of Richard Boehmer. Uh, and I, so I, I always felt right in that assessment of how he would have turned out. Um, but, uh, but he didn't turn out that way. And instead, he only made three films, for Christ's sake. You know, he didn't like in one, like in one year. <laughs> in one year, 
And he made three films, and then he was dead. And I guess he just got frozen in time and became this. Uh, did you hear what they're doing with him now? They're gonna no. they're gonna use uh, CGI to recreate James Dean in a film. It's kind of creepy. I know it's kind of creepy. Um, but you know he came and went, and then he had this image that always lasted. He was frozen in time. So was Marilyn Monroe. She was frozen in time. They never had the chance to get old so you go what the fuck happened to him yeah now, dean died at 24 yep and one of my best friends jack garfine was the guy who pretty much discovered james dean when he was at the actor studio because jack was teaching at the actor studio and also directing broadway and i said to him once i said what do you think would have happened to james dean if he had lived and he said he would have done very well. He felt he would have done well. So, you know, I, I, I demur to I, defer, rather, to uh, uh, his, uh, his feeling on the matter, you know, because he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that was, that, was, that was James Dean. And um, uh, we could go on, you know, we could speculate forever what would have happened to him. I did ask him one thing, though. I said, uh, but he said, blah, 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 blah. I said, but James Dean was gay, right? And he said, no, James Dean was not gay. Now, I had always assumed he was a gay. Did you? I'd always heard he was bi. So. Yeah, no, he said he was, he, was, he was quite straight. So that did away with one of my images of James okay. Dean. Okay, <laughs> that goes with that rumor. <laughs> mm. Well, there were a lot of stories about him and certain people and so on and so forth. And it turns out that he was he was he was not uh, he was not gay, so okay. what can we do about that? Well, anyway, uh, so ha what's happening in the wonderful life of? Uh, well, I shouldn't ask. Nothing's probably happening in your life. Nothing ever happens here. So, I mean, what's a day like in the life of of, of Larry Bubbles Brown? Do you, you get uh, after I talk to you? I'm going to run. Uh, go out and run six miles. Yeah. And uh, then I'm going to uh, got a little gig up in near Davis tonight. So. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to do, I mean, it takes you, how long does it take you to do your six miles? An hour. An hour. And and, and, and where do you go exactly? Because I know the area. You I'll go down run the... down through uh, the Fort Mason and That's around what... the Marina Green. Sometimes I go up to Chrissy Field. That's what I figured you'd do. I figured you'd go down into the Presidio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Presidio was this big area, folks. It was once an army base and is now Lucasfilm or whatever. Lucas, yes. Lucas owns all of Northern California, apparently. Yeah. In fact, there's a statue of Yoda on the property. Uh, <laughs> um You know, but, uh, but you, know, you know what it was years ago? There was a hospital there. Is it still there, Letterman Hospital, or is the is the I actually still had a there? job there working in the payroll department, Letterman Army, Army Medical Center. Yeah, but I mean, is yeah. it still there? Is Long, it, no, it's torn down. Oh, the building was, it was torn down for the Lucas thing, wasn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, uh, but uh, it was torn down for the Lucas thing. It it was. Uh, I remember when my friend Shecky was here in San Fran was in San Francisco visiting. Uh, he was there because Letterman was doing uh, his show at the Palace of Fine Arts, his TV show, every for five nights that week from San Francisco. I remember that. And he had people go out to Letterman Hospital and shoot it because he liked the fact that it's in Letterman Hospital. Yeah, uh-huh. You know. But uh, it was an Army hospital, and that whole place was an Army base. And uh, it was really, uh, really, really quite terrific. Um Originally built, believe it or not, they actually treated wounded from the Civil War. How they transported them out here, I have no idea. Why would but, they? Why would they? That doesn't make sense. I know the trip would have killed them. Yeah, the Civil War was, and you didn't have transportation. It's not like you had airplanes to bring them or anything like that. That doesn't make sense. I know. Are you sure that's true? I heard that. It's probably wrong, but we should I, we I'm, should wiki that. I'm gonna wiki wiki it. <laughs> Uh, wiki wiki wacky wookie 
a huma huma nuka nuka apa wapa ah ah it. Um, <laughs> hey, listen, we're running out of time here. Okay, I had one quite quick question for yeah. you. Just uh, yeah. I got to see this Scorsese movie where they've uh, where they're making De Niro and Pesci look younger. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, I'll, that will be out in a couple of weeks on Netflix, so I'll let you know what I think of it. Yeah, we got to talk about that next time. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful and attractive Larry Bubbles Brown. Bye, Bubs. Bye, Alex. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Okay, there was uh, Larry Bubbles Brown and another edition of We Talk to Larry, or whatever that was called. Anyway, hello, everybody. Let me uh, let me bring up Skype. Let's see if it works better than it did last night. Last night I had a problem because the Skype was just um, showing me one person, and it was the first person who called me last night. So... We'll see what happens tonight. Uh, see what else uh, they have in store for me as a surprise. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have uh, uh, been, uh, been uh, one technical problem after another. Had a few before we started tonight. But here we are. And we the show so far has gone Perfect. Okay. Okay, let me see here. Here comes Phil. All okay, right. and then I got to add uh, Charlie Wallace here. And um, is he there? Oh, let me see here. Charles Wallace. We add Charlie. No, Charlie won't add. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. And then, hey. and, and I have people, and I have, oh, wow. Let me, uh, let me, I got to, I got to. Uh, make these people. Oh, let's see here. We got time. Oh, I'll put Charlie in the third place there. Okay, because there we, there we go. And I got everybody, uh, all three people on the uh, uh, on my. Uh, oh, here we go. Kathleen's calling. Uh, let me see here. We gotta we gotta go uh, here. Wait a minute. Um, uh, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second, Kathleen. <laughs> oh, boy. This is always a real pleasure for me to get this thing going. And when everybody calls too fast, call slower, folks. Oh, here comes Jeff Stein. Wait a minute. First of all, here, let me, oh, God, let me, first of all, let me get um, Live Bob Kazoo in there or whatever that name is that you use. And then. And the next one we got Stein Zeller. Uh, da -da -da uh, let me see here, Jeff. Let me see. Is that okay? There we go. All right. Now we have look at look at all those people already. We've got five people. Hey, who was uh, the first one to call? Huh? Who was the first oh. one to call? Uh, it was uh, it was uh, uh, Phil Meyer. Because uh, I was watching your show and I hear the Skype thing go and ask my son. I go, fucking Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, young lady. I know. <laughs> yeah. She always she always had a foul mouth, that lady. Oh, yeah. God. It was just funny. I was laughing because I couldn't get on to Skype fast enough. I mean, not that yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, uh. uh you know, uh, Bubbles, uh, Larry Brown, uh, I saw on Facebook, he's uh, doing an album, uh, I think the end of the month, uh, a comedy album uh, at a uh, place in San Francisco. I, he, um, he hasn't mentioned that to me, so I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I'll look it up and maybe you'll plug it for him, you know? Well, I, uh, if he'll, he wanted he'll to get a few people. Minute, if he wanted to plug it, I think he would, wouldn't he? Uh, no, no. The, the the guy is uh, like, uh, and, and he just doesn't promote, you know. Well, apparently he promotes because he put it on Facebook. Yeah, but you know how long it took him to do that. <laughs> this might have been two years old. <laughs> maybe, maybe it could be. So anyway, um, yeah. Well. 
Mm-hmm. So, well, thank you very much. Uh, that's all we have for tonight, and I'll see you <laughs> then tomorrow. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Sitting here bemoaning my imminent death, you know. Uh, Welcome I'm, to the club. Huh? <laughs> so welcome to the club. What are you, you got a problem too, Charlie? Oh no, I'm just dying slowly. Yeah, you're One dying piece slowly. At a time. Well, you with your toes being chopped off, it was by a thousand cuts. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's by a thousand cuts. I don't know. Uh, I did. All right. Uh looks like it's uh the album is gonna oh, record. Right. We don't need to talk about it. Uh, all right. Yeah, we don't need to talk about it. I'll ask him about it, and if it's so, he'll plug it. I'll ask him next time we talk. You know. Well, okay, you got time. Yes, I have time, Phil. Well, maybe you don't have time. Uh, we'll find out on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. right, right. <laughs> no, no. I'm just getting the uh, the biopsy on Tuesday. We'll find yeah. out five days later. Um, Can I have your communist hat if you pass? No. <laughs> no, nope, not at all. You don't. You don't get that coveted commie hat, man. <laughs> and the Obama shirt. Yeah, yeah. I I wonder if I would get in a lot of trouble if I wore that now in Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think that they uh, particularly like those guys. Yeah, yeah. In Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You know. Obama, I don't think they care, but uh, Mao Zedong there on the on the uh, uh, on the book, do they, mean, they don't like him. What do you mean Obama? Well, why do you bring up Obama? Because your shirt has a picture of Obama in no, a uh, yeah, in a it? communist uh, hat or something. No, I'm not wearing it tonight. I know, but that's that's the coveted do you shirt. Want, do you want the shirt? Of course, I want the you shirt. You sure want the shirt? Of course. <laughs> It's so, if you it, go to China, wear a Winnie the Pooh shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, no, actually, I have the shirt of uh, he's referring to is uh, a shirt of uh, uh, a, a, ch- a Chinese soldier with right. the face of Barack Obama. And it's a very it's a nice shirt. When I saw it, I just went, wow, I love that. That's cool. <laughs> That is so very cool. Yeah. Uh, Hello, Josh. With us for the second night in a row. That's nice. Charlie's probably had some baseball stuff, Charlie, or? Yeah, I'm supposed to. I'm part of the night, but it's raining. Oh, okay. Well, thank God for the rain and that we get you. Yeah. You know? And, uh, uh, and, and of course, uh, Schmoody here is, uh, she's got the, uh, uh, she's got a new schedule now, so it entitles her to be able to call us at night. Which is terrific, and to pet her pussy as usual. <laughs> now I restrain myself from saying that. <laughs> well, of course, but you're not the host of the show with t- no taste at all, you know. So, um, but uh, it, 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 by the way, uh, I got uh, the Disney uh, Plus thing, you know, and yeah. um, uh, you're testing it. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I don't think it's a competitor to Netflix, to be honest with you, because it, it all the stuff it has is Disney stuff, you know, uh, which isn't, you know, there's more to, to Netflix than just Disney stuff. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Doesn't Disney own some other stuff? Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's got the Marvel stuff and stuff like that, but it's still, it's limited to that universe, Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I, I did see one thing. We saw one thing. We just loved it. They did a uh, a photorealistic version of Lady and the Tramp, oh. and it's wonderful. It is just wonderful. I think the animals are animated. I think they're CGI, but I'm not quite sure. It's so convincing. But they have expressions, <clears throat> and they you know they have takes they do, and. Uh, it's really, if, uh, if anybody subscribes to the free one-week trial, you should put on your list of stuff to watch um, A Lady in the Tramp. It is, just, it is just amazingly good. And all the reviews I've read on it, people seem to agree. You know, so. Have you tried to uh, sign up for uh, the trial on any of the other services, the, U- or the U- uh, YouTube one or the uh, no. Hulu one? No. Uh, no? No. 
I don't need. Well, I don't need the what Hulu. Well, has. I know you don't need it, but all you know, maybe all, all, you try it. All Hulu has is uh, their basic service, and then they have a service where they also give you TV channels and yeah. You know, yeah, I have that cable one. Forty five bucks. I don't. A month. I don't need it. I've got cable. Yeah, yeah. but I do have the Hulu without commercials. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the forty-five dollar a month Hulu has commercials, but it has more TV than uh, I was getting with uh, Sling. Well, hey, I'm, Phil, I've got I've got FiOS. I'm getting yeah. every fucking thing known to mankind, Phil. I know, but you're also spending uh, my inheritance uh, uh, on uh, the amount of money you spend on well, your cable. Don't worry, now, son. If you've got I got the Hulu. I, I, don't worry, huh? son. I disinherited you a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, uh, it. Um, uh, the um, uh, no, I uh, uh, you know I pay probably you know I pay a lot of money for the uh, for the bandwidth here that I have this high yeah. bandwidth that I have, and I'm uh, you know I'm paying two fifty a month for the bandwidth and for a whole bunch of stuff you know. Mm. Plus, you know what they always throw in, and I don't need or want the fucking telephone. <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. it's like. Probably it doesn't cost them anything, so they give it to you and act like they're giving you something. And you try to tell them, "I have a uh, uh, an iPhone." I, Can you I, see Charlie's fingers? <laughs> oh, he may not have them much longer. Oh, oh, but. oh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Call me quick. You know why? Because I don't have him up on, as a main. Uh, let me put him up here. And put, you know, yeah, that's what I hate here. about this thing. Is you have to drag people down into the picture. So if you've got yeah. six people or something like five people, you've got to put one of them up in the corner. So you're up in the corner now, uh, Jeff. Okay, uh, Charlie. So just yell if you. I have don't like to. this. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Yes, y y yes, uh, uh, yes, Charlie. You can put your fingers down. Yeah, there. I, you you talked me into getting CBS All Access, and now I'm watching Star Trek Discovery oh. and Twilight Zone all through the night. Wait a minute. So thanks I, a lot. I don't think I told Judy. I don't have it. Well, I, I had CBS All Access, and I dropped it. Oh, maybe it, it was Phil then. Yeah. That's where I got the idea. It was from this. So. Well, uh, I I have other. Uh, shall we say nefarious ways of getting Star Trek Discovery, and that's the, uh, <laughs> uh, that's the only thing I would want on CBS All Access. Otherwise, what do I want? The Good Wife? Come on, you know, I don't need any of that. Of course you do. I like the Good Fight. Hey, Good Wife. Good Wife. Good Wife. Oh, Good Wife. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the uh, that was the previous show. Uh huh. And, and then they had a show called What the Good Fight. Yeah. And then that's and the sequel is the Good Divorce. Yeah, and uh, I don't care as long as they keep bringing out the gorgeous women. I love that show. Really? Oh, okay. Well, if, you know, if I could jerk off to it, I guess I would subscribe to it. Oh, uh, look at that! What? Uh, it's uh, uh, Howdy Doody there. Uh, that's uh, that's that's, <laughs> that's not Howdy Doody. Does anybody know? Hold that up. Hold that up. Hold hold that up again. <laughs> That's an older howdy. Now, no, that isn't howdy no. duty. Who is okay. that? Do you know who that is? Uh, I bet I bet she no. doesn't even know who that is. It's Slappy. Oh God. No, it, you named it Slappy. <laughs> Slappy from Goosebumps. Oh really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. It looks like uh, Jerry Mahoney. Paul Winchell yeah. puppet from years ago. Nope. Well, what, it's my what, sons. <laughs> what is it? Some kind of spooky character or something? The yeah. the mouth it's moves? from the, uh, what's the guy's name? R.L. Stein? Yeah. Goosebumps? Oh, okay. And yeah, my yeah. kids like that. I'm not a fan of it anymore. Because <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I saw a movie uh, that scared the fucking shit out of me. And I was like, only Birth of a Nation? Kid. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me and it was called The Great Gabo starring Eric Von Stroheim and he's a ventriloquist but he becomes a murderer or something I can't remember what the plot was I just remember at the end they had him in a jail cell with his ventriloquist dummy and the ventriloquist dummy comes alive and kills him 
And that terrorized me for years. I, I look at a dummy like that, I'm still scared, you know? Wasn't the there, human... there was a movie that Sean and I started to watch, but, you know, I was like, well, it was, he's... It was three years ago. Yeah, he's a little too young to watch this, and it was called Dead Silence. Oh, I remember that. Oh, no, no, I have Dead Ringers when I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Dead Silence? Yeah, very creepy. What was that about? Silence? Uh, about, like, a, like a... What was it? It was about ventriloquist dummies. It's about this, um, about this lady of ventriloquist, and then um, uh, she died, and then she got her tongue cut off, and then I was like... Yeah, it was like... Ooh. Yeah, it was just some creepy... Some lady was a ventriloquist, and something happened. She got her tongue cut off, and she possessed... Some ventriloquist doll, and I think this doll was murdering people. But like, we watched a quarter of it, and I look at Sean, and he's white as a ghost. And I thought, well, you know, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have you watch this. <laughs> that was like three years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, they probably wouldn't scare you today. No, yeah. it wouldn't, because he loves all kinds of horror movies. I yeah. Just saw. I just saw. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the knife down. Well, well Chucky. Yes. Yeah, Chucky movies. Yeah. 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 Brian Dorif. Yeah. Well, the thing is that that uh, that uh, that uh, dummies uh, or or dolls uh, killing people seems to be a recurrent theme in horror. You know? Yeah. Uh, and wife of Chucky. I know. <laughs> yeah. Who played wife of Chucky? Oh, uh, um, uh, Tilly! James Dean. You bingo. Jennifer Tilly. Bingo. You got it. Oh, Jennifer uh, Tilly. Yeah. 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 Jennifer Tilly. Uh, it sounds like uh, she was fertile. Jennifer Tilly. Uh, was she the one that was on Hill Street Blues? Had no, the... no. 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 You I'm wrong again, Phil. That's a Tilly. Her name was the last of Tilly. <laughs> no, but she I was in the movie Liar, Liar, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Yeah. She had a sister, um, Meg Tilly. Meg Tilly. Yeah. 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 And they, it, it, but uh, Jennifer Tilly still, what, where, what's she on now? Constantly. Been on it for years. TV show. Family Guy. She plays the wife of oh. the next door neighbor without legs. Um, yeah. So. Oh, holy crap. Hmm. <laughs> No. Jeff, do you know any of these references we're making here? <laughs> I only know some of them from my kids. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Where are you tonight, uh, Jeff? Uh, you're muted. Oh, no. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I just have to uh, speak quietly. Oh, okay. So... Anyway, I'm in Atlanta. Oh, you're still in Atlanta. Atlanta. But tomorrow, I'll be in Florida. Oh, God. How terrific. I can hardly, I wish I were in Florida. I bet you do. Is it still 21 degrees there? I haven't gone out I'm to find out. Fine. You know, I haven't left the house in four days now. You know. <laughs> you no, know, it's too cold. To it's too fucking to cold. Yep. Yeah. Girlfriend comes home and she says, did you go out today? And I go, no. And she said, why not? And I said, because it's fucking freezing. <laughs> oh, well, that shouldn't stop you. It was sunny. I'm going, son, you know, it's sunny in, in uh, uh, the uh, Great White North, you know, and it's still cold as shit. You know, so. Yeah, Patrick posted a thing showing it was six degrees where he was. Really? Really? I don't know what what temperature is it now. Let me see here. Do I have a temperature here? Am I running a temperature? Let me look at my watch. Oh, it's forty two degrees. It's actually getting warm. It's warmer there than it is here. It's forty here. Really? I don't know what it is here? Yeah. Um, what's the te what's the temperature there? Uh, uh, this is really an interesting show we do here, oh, folks. Yeah, in case, in case share you, the temperature. It, yeah, it's a show we do for uh, two hours a night in which people ch uh, talk about the weather in their in their <laughs> area. Fifty eight degrees in Walnut Creek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is it in Tracy, California? I don't know. 
<laughs> but I'll find out on my trusty, stupid phone. Oh, it warmed up a little. It was 44. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Emmett sees my face. Oh, it's 59. Really? Oh, it's warmer than Walnut Creek. 59. Yep. Look at this, folks. Okay, what, what? you've been a great crowd. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this. <laughs> what do you got? Atlanta 41. 41 yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, it's been cold all, all right. around the country. Yeah. See, folks, this will really get us the numbers now. Well, if we had a cat or paint drying, uh, yeah. we would. Uh, drying. Listen, we one won't. time I actually had, I think it was paint drying. Now, I didn't do paint drying. I did uh, a building, uh, I think. Yeah. No, uh, uh, street drying. Side of, side of a building. Yeah, side of a building drying after a rain. And I got something like 700 viewers. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know uh, I do this, I get like three people, you know, so. I was, I was in a seminar on Wednesday put on by uh, Stainmaster. Uh, they, well, that must've you know, they... been exciting. Tell us all about it. That will add <laughs> well, to our, it, it's not that exciting, but they showed us their new advertising. Because campaign. speaking of Stainmasters, you've never seen my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, anyway, they, they were talking about their new advertising campaign and it's cats. It, it, it's cats doing stuff, cats sitting, cats knocking stuff over. And uh, they said that, uh, you know, they're, they're getting tons of views. That What uh, does that have to do with stain? Uh, it has, well, cats knock stuff over. They stain the carpet. And uh, then the stain master doesn't stain like regular carpets. Oh, I it's see. it's treated. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Why don't yeah, they just hire me? Why don't they hire me? They can videotape me jerking off over a rug. Well, you know? uh, I don't know how well that would go over in middle yeah. America. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I um, I donated uh, some money to a thing called Four Ocean, and I got my metal Bracelet. straw today. Huh? What? Yeah, I got a, a it comes a, you carry it on your keychain and uh <laughs> always you, have you, you yeah this way you always have it and it even has Wait something minute, let that me let me can, all, let me keep talking I'm going to just put you as a uh, uh a whole picture there so people all can right. see All uh, right. It'd be good also if I could get the damn thing out of the container mm -hmm. without breaking it. Mm -hmm. Uh so far it's no good. How do you damn drink from these plastic yeah, well, they, they fill-proofed it. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> oh, this, well, is, this is the brush that you use to clean it. Uh, maybe if I stick the brush in there, I can pull the thing out. Yeah, that, that worked. There you go. Sort of. <laughs> we can't see what you're doing, but... Oh, well, I'm, uh, I, I got the straw out. Go. See, the straw bends and will... Uh, go into the little container mm -hmm. and then you open it up and you know uh, and and you can right, either be a conductor or yeah. you can or really, you can suck uh, through the metal straw. That's really nice, but you know what I don't get? Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I, I understand that plastic straws are ruining our oceans. Okay. Yes. I'll I'll buy that one. But Inside the straw it's plastic. Will you let me finish? <laughs> oh it is? Yeah. Yeah. Well so what is so wrong about paper straws, especially the ones that are like coated and things like that? You can they do a collapse. paper. No, you can do a paper straw. And yeah, we grew up on. And they're biodegradable. Right. By the way, plastic straws are biodegradable. It's just you that's uh, impatient. Not, yeah, I understand. <laughs> so yeah, I now well. I now have my own uh, metal straw, and uh, the thirty dollar. Uh, uh, donation, which gets you the metal straw. Mm. Also, they clean up one pound of plastic from the ocean. So, really, you know, yeah. They, and they even sent me a thank you card, and uh, uh, yeah. They, so, how do you feel about your hero Donald Trump being against uh, all the stuff about the environment? Of which well, this I don't know that he's against stuff about cleaning up the environment. I think he just thinks that uh, carbon credits and no, all this other no, stuff no, is a no, scam. No, no, He's been closing down all kinds of things that prevent us from doing just the very thing you said that you want to see done. Yeah, well, uh, I got my straw 
I'm I'm good. Yeah, you've <laughs> you done know? your part to clean up the seas, Mister. Yeah. How much yeah. did that cost? Uh, Twenty five bucks plus freight, so it was uh, thirty dollars. Well, that must be a heavy straw. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it'll probably break the first time I use it. Yeah. But yeah. I do have the yeah. brush. Yeah. Uh, to to clean it out. Yeah. So, it's it's pretty cool. So how are you doing tonight? Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, 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 Josh. Doing pretty good. How you doing? Yeah. What's happening in your neck of the woods? Is it cold? Yeah, it's in the 20s. Oh, really? 27, 28. I'm sure it'll get colder overnight, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's it, I, We have pretty similar weather to what Patrick would have in Wisconsin most of the time. So, yeah, it's already snowed here uh, once. So, uh, everything was covered, ground, everything. And so, it was, I mean, it was a fairly decent little snow. And uh, when we came back from D.C., my last 100 miles or so was all this freezing rain and sleet and so oh. it's uh you know it's winter time what did you what did you do in dc uh we just took a little trip we uh just sights you know sightseeing for uh we were there what three or four days so it was just we usually take a few trips a year and a couple of those are usually you know pretty small destinations three four or five days and you know not like major trips like when we go out west or something. So it was just one of our small trips. We took some tours and did some sightseeing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Pretty good. good. We, what's that? That's nice. Yeah. 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 We had been before, but uh, um, not for a little while. And I don't know. D.C. is one of those places that, you know, I think you can go many times. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it never, never really gets old. Yeah, I, I was there, uh, how many years ago, I was, a radio station wanted to hire me. Um, oh, JFK? JFK, yeah, WJFK. And um, so we were flown down there, Gary, my business manager, and I. And uh, we uh, we went to the, we did things like went to the Smithsonian and crap like that, and I had a very nice time, you know. Yeah, that's what we did. I got we a picture uh, of the guy that took your job. We, uh, we didn't visit the White House, but... Uh, well, we took a tour of the Capitol and uh, went to the archives, uh, yeah. you know, to see the main sites and just some walking around, looking at most of the sites. We took a nighttime tour, which was pretty nice. You know, they got these night tours you can take because, you know, everything's yeah. lit up in D.C. Yeah. I mean, it really is a nice city down in the uh, kind of like in the federal district where all the monuments and, and, and stuff like that are at. Uh, you know, it looks pretty at night. Everything was it was pretty good. So. We had a little trouble on the way down mm -hmm. with uh, a flat tire on the interstate, but uh, but uh, once we got that straightened out, it was uh, everything was pretty good. And what was the weather like there? Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was pretty cold the first day. Um, it was only like maybe mid to high thirties, but it was really good strong breeze so it was it was pretty cool see how exciting this show's getting yeah, yeah it was pretty yeah. good yeah. yeah 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 in the next hour if people are still here we, we could talk about the flat tire and you know all that, <laughs> that, yeah, that it didn't matter. listen what side was it flat what? on the bottom <laughs> uh, no save it save it for next hour let's have okay. the audience yeah. let's just tease it that next yeah. hour after the news you're going to talk about changing your flat tire oh yeah mm. yeah right that because it was i was pretty you know I no no don't spoil it don't imagine. spoil it now don't spoil oh, yeah, it now. Right. <laughs> I, I, i'll show you a picture of the guy that took your job at jfk <laughs> no he didn't oh no <laughs> no he didn't take my job uh, he well, got the take his? He, he got the job because i turned it down right well that's he yeah yeah and I don't know how they went from me to G. Gordon Liddy. I don't know where that <laughs> leap of thinking uh, was, but I have uh, I have no idea what the what the what the leap of faith was there, you know. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah. 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 Yes, Kathleen. <laughs> it's my son. He twisted his ankle today at actually, school. I, actually, I think it was my foot. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Would he trip on that pencil? Uh -huh. Well, some well, I'll have you know some no, kids. He's walking like an old man in a diaper or something. Well, I'll have you know that some kids went to school today and got shot. So you know. Oh man, yeah, I know. I know. 
Thanks, yeah. Alex. Jeez. <laughs> uh, now, what's the? Uh, is it Six Flags that's down in that Kalita, whatever, wherever it is that where the uh, school was? Uh, it's Sa- off of Highway Five. Santa Carlita. You're from Santa- California. You know where Santa Carlita is. I never is. stop there unless I need gas. Yeah, you I know, don't. it's it's on Highway Five. There's some f- Six Flags or Knott's Berry Farm or some stupid thing like that on one side. There's a gas station on the other mm-hmm. side, and then you're out of Santa Calito. What, what do you think the weather is down there today? Probably <laughs> 65. Oh, okay. I'm just, uh, you know, we're just think we want to we want to find our we're looking for our own niche in the podcast world, and I think we found one nobody else is taking. <laughs> All talk and all weather. Yeah, all, hey, it's all 77 in Miami. <laughs> and yeah, and yeah Baghdad, we're not, and we're, in Baghdad, it's 60. What? Wow, it's Baghdad. 60 in Baghdad. And we're not in the weather prediction business. We give you the cold, hard right. facts. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> Sometimes we give you the warm facts if That's it's right. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, we're we're you know we're gonna give you the best weather we possibly can, folks. So stay all tuned. All weather, here. all day. Because you know, if some woman out there uh, can get a million viewers uh, giving makeup tips, I think yeah. the least we can do is get a several hundred thousand just saying what the weather is where we are. <laughs> Maybe I do we have to have one suits week? and stuff. Huh? Do we have to wear suits? Ties? <laughs> well, at least it, the jacket it, and the tie. If you want to, you know, uh, and if one of you would like to at some point maybe do a blue screen and have the weather in back of you. you know. <laughs> I've been thinking about that. No, yeah. we'll do it the old-fashioned way. We have the Velcro, and you take the sun, and you stick it up there. <laughs> take some clouds and stick it up there, or we'll just draw it. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, well, I, the next time, yeah. the next time it fucking rains here, I'm going to broadcast live from outside. Okay. All right. <laughs> I good. Mean, good. 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 No, it's no. fucking going to be <laughs> hardcore. Did you I, say it's forty <laughs> something degrees there? Where I live? Yeah. No, it's like twenty seven. Oh yeah. Go ahead outside. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. anyway. It's, uh, it's uh, we're, we're, we're having a good time here coming up with a new format, you know, because this one definitely isn't working, you know. Hey, you were right about the Sierra. I can't, uh, I can't download uh, Mojave. Uh, and uh, so it looks like my, um, my Mac, my old MacBook Pro is going to be a brick. Well, so no, it's not a running? brick. It's, it- not, it's not a brick. You just run Sierra. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, but I can't update anything. I, I mean, well, I tried I, to. Well, what are you going to? Well, you, you well uh, even Skype, I, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't oh, really? Use, uh, Here's what I yeah. hate about Apple more than anything else, and that's how they take something you bought with your good money, maybe, and it's like you know, seven years old, eight years old, and because they built it well, it still works. Okay. Yeah. And then they say, but we're sorry. We're going to turn it into a brick, and it's not going to work mm-hmm. anymore. Well, fuck yeah. you. I bought your fucking product, and I bought in those days. You bought it for like two, three grand, you know? Yeah, this was like three grand, $3,300. Yeah. Well, well you sh- it should, you know, I've got, uh, some people have PCs out there that are still managing to work, and they use like, uh, uh, you know, Windows, some, not the newer Windows, but the older Windows, and they keep working. It's a, in, you mean like a 286 machine? I don't think no, so. No, not no, not 286s. I mean, things have gotten better than that. But I think I think there's some that still do uh, Windows NT. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and hey, remember, Alex, remember when I got that computer and um, you wanted to trade Toshiba Bob? Toshiba because Bob. mine had I don't know, and it was mine was like 133 megahertz. What do you mean by Toshiba Bob? You mean I had that program in it that Windows that Microsoft came out with called Bob? Anybody remember no, that? No, this was the name of your <laughs> the name of your computer. This was in like 96, 97. Yeah. And I go look what I got, and I gave it to you to set up, and you're like name it, and I go okay Enzo. So you put Enzo in it. <laughs> And as you fired it up, you were all ooing and aahing, and you kept asking me if I wanted to trade 
Enzo for Toshiba Bob. That's when I became yeah. suspicious. Oh, you know, he likes that kind of stuff. I, I got a, a VHS recorder, a Mitsubishi, and it only had uh, two hours and six hours, but it had a, a wireless remote control, and it was the first one. Alex had to borrow it <laughs> because his his had a wire on it, and mine was wireless. And uh, I, I don't know, he had it for months. <laughs> Did I really? I can't remember that. But then again, I don't remember you. So how, how am I going to yeah. remember that? You know. But Well, do you remember when we'd be at your apartment, we'd set up your camera, and first it, it would be me talking, you know, hey, why? And the guy's like, hey, yeah, turn on your camera. When we turned on the camera, it was you, and you were lip syncing to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> We were terrible. Yeah, we were terrible. It was fun. There was also this, wasn't there, wasn't there this thing we bumped into somewhere online where people like were going online and fucking in front of you? Yes. Do you remember that? <laughs> and, and and we, so it, we, we pretended like we were some kind of swinging couple and we would yeah. pretend like we were going to do something, but we, yep. did, we didn't and that they did. <laughs> yes. What was that? It was some kind I of... I don't know. I vaguely remember that. And they'd be pissed. And, and this is in 1996, I think, you know, yeah. that this uh, was happening. And then we go, they go, so we just fucked for you. Well, now what are you going to do for us? And we go, say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you get your ass kicked. Uh, well, I guess you No, you there. can't. They, they Somehow they didn't know who you were. There was yeah, no way. It was know, weird. They didn't know I don't, where to find I, us. I, I, I don't know how you I don't know how you got onto this. Oh, thing. so it was online. It was online. I, yeah. Oh, I, I was probably sitting at your desk putting in www.fuckme.com or whatever. Yeah, and and there they were. They were just yep. hi. Mm -hmm. We're 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 so and so and so and so. Hey, watch! I'll go down to my wife. You know, go go right ahead. You know, idiots. Yeah, yeah. We we. It, that's we, entertainment. That's entertainment. If there yep. ever was one. Yeah. Now I I'd never gone into the Mitchell Brothers Theater. Uh, you know I'd passed it yeah, many sure, times on sure, Polk and sure, Larkin sure, or whatever. Sure. But uh, didn't they do that shit there? And well, you could you know you could sit there and watch if you wanted to. I guess, but we yeah. didn't have to pay for this online. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but you had to run like uh, thieves in the night. No, we didn't have to run. We just pushed. We yeah. just stayed in the comfort <laughs> of our nice cozy home and laughed and went. Goodbye. Well, that's yeah. amazing that it was two way like that. Yeah. You know? No, that was early on. That was uh, yeah. you know, uh, that was uh, uh, I think they called it Facebook. I can't remember what they <laughs> called it. Uh, yeah. Did you invent that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I mean, uh, that was uh, yeah. That was that was crazy. I remember that. And we were oh, amazed yeah. that these people were even there. We're like yeah. what idiots. But I can't remember how we how we found that place. We just stumbled upon it. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you know what we're talking about, Charlie? No, I just remember stumbling across stuff like that on the internet. Yeah, when I first got on. Uh, yeah, sure. Just like just like Phil stumbled into the Mitchell I, Brothers. I, I was yeah. I was happy with that jazzer size that was on TV. You know where they it was like a Busby Berkeley thing, and uh, they, they they were beautifully choreographed. And they had, you know, did you remember that? And I, it was yeah. in San Francisco. We were watching people fuck Phil. <laughs> you were watching people do stretching exercises. Come on, there's was, a big difference. It was pretty difference. nice, though. And it, there's it was, a, uh, you know, big for difference. on TV, it was, it was, you know, it was. Because they would never see us, because they would ask us to turn on our camera. Yeah. Because we had our camera off, and that's when we hang up on them, so they never knew who we were. Yeah. Well, why did not you just make noises and say, I don't have a camera, but I can, you know, <laughs> ooh, 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 it's so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we could have done that. We could have also said, oh, damn, camera doesn't work. Oh, well. Oh, man. Except what if we would have started laughing. Yeah, yeah. This is the kind of times we had together. We, we did we some fun. bizarre, stupid shit. We yeah. were. We were terrible. <laughs> we were we were the worst people in the world. <laughs> okay. You know. Um, you know, uh, as I, we used to, we talked about the, you know, instilling road rage in other people. That was our favorite sport. Well, I remember we were in San Francisco and we were on our way to a movie. 
Um, and so we had turned the corner and the traffic was stopped. And so the rear end of the Acura was like in the crosswalk and this guy hit the trunk mm -hmm. and I must have dove from the front seat to the back seat to lunge at the guy. Yeah. And, and then oh, and and the guy jumped back the, and then the light turned green. You were he was pissed you were in the crosswalk. Right. There's yeah. uh, by the way, we've crosswalk been, we've, Nazis. Everybody be quiet. We've been <laughs> we've been joined by Norman Bates, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Guess what? She's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tony. Oh. Hey Tony, how's Not your Not for long. <laughs> Wait, don't say that. Don't put the kibosh on. <laughs> Alex, is it a bad thing that you know what I told my mother the other day? Because I crack jokes. You know, I looked on. I actually really did this. I says, "Mom, you know, I can only collect unemployment if I work twenty six weeks." And guess who's ready? She's out. She can go after twenty six. I said, after twenty six <laughs> weeks, she can kick the old proverbial. I think that's bucket. the law in New York. No, no, you can. Uh, if you get fired or the job ends, yeah. you can collect unemployment as long as you worked so many quarters. Uh, oh, consecutively, uh, Phil? Can I count? No, I, I don't even think it has to be consecutively. Oh, then uh, I'm safe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I love, for, I love, to I love Tony. Yeah, what your life plan, I, uh, Tony? I love what you're passing off as work. <laughs> it's not work, Alex. I, I know it. it's not. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I sell some comic books. I can't. I'm telling you. You mean the I'm, rubbing of the feet stuff and the wiping of the ass stuff is not work? <laughs> well, my <laughs> sister does the bathing. But oh, I see, had to say see, I told my mother, I said, there's only so much I could do here. I said, I called Nancy. So said, what, you what, 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 your sister's your intern? Is that what this yeah, is? She, my <laughs> sister comes over and does the cleaning. She says, I keep her clean. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she's your subcontractor. She lives around the corner, Charlie, so it's only like, all I got to do is call her. She's here in five minutes. Well, listen. You got a hose? Oh, she's a floor drain? You know, Sorry. if this whole prostate cancer thing doesn't work out well for me, you maybe have to come over here and do me. You know. <laughs> oh, right. You know what? Oh, oh, I would talk your ears off. Tell me another story. Get him out of here. I'll cook good for you. You know something? If I were not well yeah. and I had you taking care of me, I would pray for death every day I woke up. <laughs> Imagine not if he was cooking. You should see some of these meals he puts on. I'm alive. dying. Leave me alone. Oh, come on already. It's not that bad. Wait a minute. How many wait a minute, people wait a do you send the same shit daily? You know, he sends oh, me I to meals. Oh, he, yeah. he keeps asking me to play oh, some stupid oh, game. By the way, everybody, shut up. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, 13 past the hour, and time now for Josh to tell tires? us about his flat tire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's tire time. Yeah, that's right. If you, yeah. thought, if you thought the weather in your neck of the woods was a great oh, format, yeah. wait till you hear till you hear flat tire stories. And can oh. I ask, how many ply was it? <laughs> I don't know. And was it a radial? <laughs> Probably. Oh, please tell me it was a radial. We oh don't, yeah. We don't. Oh, go ahead. I can't wait. <laughs> and it was uh, pretty flat. Mm. Okay. No air. And did you change it yourself, <laughs> or did you call three A's? No, I've changed it myself. Really? It was pretty. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I what don't know. That's really. Man, it just it was just right before we were like. 15 minutes away from the hotel. I mean, we were we were just outside of D.C., and it was like, I don't know, 8.30 in the morning. It was really busy. I mean, it was like D.C. rush hour traffic. Yeah. And all I had to do was get off at the exit to get on this George Washington Parkway, mm -hmm. and, you know, we took it. Now, did you have did you have a re, re, did you have a spare tire? Did you have one of those donuts they give you because they've gotten well, too cheap to give you a it, spare tire? I mean, I have a Jeep SUV, so it has a little bit better than those little dinky things, but it wasn't a complete full size, you yeah. know, tire. So, you know, and then of course when you're on a trip. The spare tire is always in the back, you know, and of course, what do you always have in the back? You know, you have all your stuff, you yeah. know, so we got to, we had to move all that around to the front seat. But I don't know. I, apparently, I must have ran something over, I guess, because my tires were in excellent shape. I mean, there was nothing wrong. It just. Not after I, you got the I, flat. Right. I changed lanes and uh, to go to the exit. And like right after I changed lanes, the low tire light started dinging. And I was, just remember thinking, that's fucking. You know, like, that's weird. There's no way I got a low tire, and then it was flashing, and then I saw that it was just 
getting lower and lower. I was like, you know, hey, got a problem. So Tell me I actually had to stop on the exit ramp and change it there. It was By it the was, way, our, our, our viewership during this story has gone up. That's great. <laughs> yes, it it was it a white wall? No. Oh, okay. Oh, no, and, it, and, it had like and, a... And, and as folks, soon as I took it off, I looked way, at it, and it had a cut. Like right in the middle between the, in the middle tread, it was about oh, wow. an inch and a half. So I, there must have been some kind of little piece of metal or something. Conspiracy. Uh, Tony, stay right where you are. We'll get back to you yeah. in a moment. DC what? conspiracy. <laughs> yeah. No, it. Uh, unfortunately, I had to put the spare on, and we drove to a, a, a national an, an NTB national tire and battery that was four or five miles away, and they actually got me and had the same kind of tires that I had because I really will only buy one kind. Uh, I was just going to buy something cheap if they didn't have it just to, until I got home. But they actually had the same, you know, Michelins that were on my Jeep at the time. It cost me 300 fucking bucks. So don't you have to do two at the same suck. time? No, I, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other three now that I'm home. But at that time, uh, I just wanted to get the fuck out of there and they were super slammed. They were actually really nice and, like the the guy that manages the shop actually just because I already had the tire off and everything, you know, he just went ahead and changed it himself to help us out because you know he knew we were on vacation and all that. So, you know, just traveling through, they, they actually took really good care of me. But it it it's actually the story gets a lot worse because it's actually pretty funny because two years ago when we went on vacation to Philadelphia, the same exact thing happened in downtown Philadelphia, right in front of the hotel. I actually had to change a the tire there in the parking garage because there was this great big pothole in front of where you turned that I couldn't see because we got in in the late afternoon at like 4 o'clock on Christmas Eve. And uh, the area was really busy, and there were all these people walking around downtown Philadelphia everywhere, and I was really just paying attention to pedestrians. And uh, I hit this huge pothole, and uh, it actually just blew the tire right there. I mean, so, yeah, I actually, I did go ahead and buy four that time. That cost me 1200 bucks. So, I mean, we've had some terrible That's luck with exciting, that stuff. That exciting, exciting, exciting internet here. Oh, oh, it was. Yeah. It was. Oh, yeah. uh, by it was the way, fun. let me mention that our, our numbers on, uh, on uh, YouTube are up, but nobody's watching us on Facebook. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. In fact, nobody wanted to miss the story. In fact, I can go over <laughs> and I can actually uh, 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 just do a special program on Facebook that nobody's watching. So let me give them the. Can finger. you see Jeff? Huh? Can you I, see I can Jeff? see That's Jeff. Yes, I can see yeah. Jeff. Wait a minute. Let me let me go back, folks. And uh, is our sound off on Facebook? No, your sound is on today on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, he's no. giving him the finger. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I, I should have thought, you know, I should have been more aware of the needs of Gabnet. I probably should have at least recorded the tire mm. changing or, you know, really, I really should have live streamed it. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. but at the least I could have recorded it. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we had the same thing happen in Philadelphia. And well, wait a I mean, minute. like this pothole, I mean, it was... Yeah. It was terrible. Je Jeff, so I go Jeff, back out and I. What's that? Jeff has Jeff his wants hand. To know up. how deep it was. Uh, I, it was pretty I just bad. I want to know, and, and we can wait until tomorrow night. Maybe this should be tomorrow night. We can discuss this. It's a whole Is, show. Yeah. Was it on the left hand side? Yeah. Right <laughs> side? Left rear. Absolutely. Be concerned about that. And, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I changed that. Now. I, I changed the one in Philadelphia that time and. Was that on the we left? Go in and we checked into the hotel and we, we put everything away and I go back down to the park garage where it's parked there with the flat tire and I change it. And I go back in and I and when I'm changing the tire, like the parking garage is right on the edge of the street and two people walk by during the time that I'm changing the tire, wanting to know, you know, if I had uh, any money I could give Spare them. change, yeah. yeah I, exactly. I, 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 so what I, what I, kind of jack do you have? Do you have a bottle jack or do you yeah, have oh, a, a yeah. scissor jack or do you have <laughs> yeah, one of those ones that yeah, hook up the, the, with the car. So I go back in. It's Christmas Eve and I go back into the hotel in Philadelphia and it's a different person at the desk and they're like, oh, hey, how are you? You know, they're like, so how are you enjoying your time in Philadelphia so far? And I swear, I said, well, I said, I've been here for 20 minutes, and I hit a pothole that blew my tire, and two bums asked me for money. But other than that, I said, uh, everything's fucking great. It's a great city. Glad to be here. Bye. You Talk think to you the later. bums can call in on GabNet? 
uh, they uh, uh, Trump ended that free phone fucking oh, deal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know something? I never—I don't think I ever had a flat tire with uh, Kathleen. But the only reason I kept her around was—and I never told you this, Kathleen—was because if I did get one, you could change it. Oh, I could <laughs> ten minutes flat. Yeah, yeah. Easily, like in my car, I keep a floor jack, a small floor jack, because I can't stand those crank things. Yeah. You just slip that floor jack, lock it, two pumps, it's up. Yeah, so, my uh, yeah. Well, that was it was just, and and, 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 and and I was going to say it was the same with me, up. right, Kathleen? <laughs> <laughs> or two pumps and it was out. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've we've had terrible luck traveling. I don't know why. It just seems like every trip that we take, we always have some kind of problem. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like I could drive around. I mean, my vehicles are in top shape i mean that's i did that for a living you know like i told you for you know for years and i mean i everything i take care of everything and i mean i, ne I never really have problems thankfully but every time we go somewhere i always do i mean the trip in between those two when we went mm -hmm. down south last year a rock flew off a semi truck and busted my windshield yeah. in fucking louisiana yeah. it was like <laughs> wait a minute we've just been joined hold on a second by rob alfano who is here again for the second night in a row uh, he must have felt kind of jealous not being able to join in on I Have a Flat Tire radio. <laughs> I, I'm, I love the format. I, I love the format. And I got to tell you, I have a tire problem, too. My company car, the right tire, every three weeks I have to put air in it, and I don't know Oh, why. no, don't tell me air. Every oh, slowly. Are you using nitrogen at least? Yeah. Yeah. Am I? Just say, you try nitrogen. Listen, it's been on a long the time. At the airport, the light came on again. Oh, not the light. <laughs> the idiot the light. light. Yeah. Yeah. Turn your mic the down just light. a little bit, Phil. It would help if you turn it up Just or a little down. Down, down. So it doesn't... Uh, doesn't Rob live up there in Northern well, Virginia? Well, what I was going to ask. Uh, uh, I do, yes. So I was oh, at, yeah. like. I live about an hour from D.C. Yeah, okay. So I was like. I live in Orlando like, tonight. I, but I live in Orlando. But I'm in Orlando tonight. And I know it's last week's format. But uh, it's going to be raining tonight into tomorrow. And it's about 60 <laughs> degrees out. Oh, no. That's last hour's format. Yeah, yeah last, last hour's format. format. Yeah, last yeah, so I'm. So I'm uh, an hour. Last I week. Was, I last think. Yeah. On uh, I-395 South, the ramp to the George Washington Parkway. I mean, it was a, a really busy area. It was crazy. Yeah, it's a great place to get a flat. No, it was, uh, it was fucking, it was nuts, but. That's a busy, busy area. You're, 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 hey, wait a minute, hold on a second, Rob. You're a little. It's now 57 in Tracy. Okay. Uh, it's you're, you're a little muffled, uh, Rob. I don't know if you've covered your microphone or not. He's on his. Uh, How about now? There, that's great. Yeah. I've probably had my finger on the mic. Yeah. Well, that that's going to be our format tomorrow night. So you want to call for that? Is, <laughs> on the mic. is finger on the mic programming where everybody will put their finger on the mic and sound muffled? Now, do you know do you know the tread depth of the tire that you're having problems with? Is it worth <laughs> Is it worth fixing, or should we just get another tire? Can you see the wear bars? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Have you, have you, you, know, you could buy one of those. Well, let me, let me ask you all a question. Yes, you can. And this Why is, buy one when you can this, steal it? this fits in with the theme of what we're talking about. It's been a while since I have had a car or even really driven one, okay? But the last time I drove, I seem to vaguely remember that if I wanted air, I had to pay for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only Probably if you're Jewish. Yeah. Do you remember the one free thing you got at a, two free things you got at a gas station were water and water air. And I used to take my bike there and always fill up the tires. Yeah. Yeah, remember when they cleaned your windshield and checked your oil? Remember, oh, yeah. remember well, when I have, I have a I have a tip for you if you, if you guys have sheets gas stations in your area. Yeah. The air is still I, I, free. Though. Don't curse. <laughs> yeah, sheets, shits. <laughs> it's a dollar seventy-five here. Yeah, what? it's air almost it's almost five dollars. Wait a minute, the air yeah. is how much do they charge? Dollar seventy-five. Oh, oh, oh yeah, for but, air. I wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is driving me nuts. All right. Are you telling me you have to pay a dollar seventy-five for air for your tires? Yep. 
for that right, good yeah, at some gal who comes out and blows, gets down on her knees and blows the tire up. <laughs> yeah, and it's timed, right? If you don't get it in time, it's time. You got to do all four tires real fast, or else you're gonna pay another dollar seventy-five. The Damn. key is you go inside and you tell them, I didn't finish the tires. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, I'll tell you what's bog boggling my mind here. What is so expensive about dispensing air? You yeah. know what they charge the presser, for? I guess? For all the people who break that thing all the time. Oh, really? Every time you go up to the gas station and the damn thing's broken. They got to replace the rubber hose. They got a problem with this, and it's it's always out of order. So now they charge your buck seventy five, and it covers all their expense. Holy crap! It's crazy because in in some of the larger cities that we visited, I've actually seen the uh, the little air compressors they set out there uh, that are actually set up for you to swipe your credit card. Really? Yeah, Freaks. yeah. So I mean, because who has dollar seventy five and change nowadays? I mean, I'm I'm saying that. Gee, I've will they will they take fucking card readers will, on them? Will they take my Apple Wallet? Hey, you give them a couple more years. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure they yeah. will. Eventually, I gotta get that. By the I, way, my my watch the, now I, my watch now takes my Apple Wallet. I can just yeah. double click here and I just well, hold it up to. Hey, the if thing. you walk down in the street in Harlem, somebody else will take your wallet. But uh, <laughs> you know, uh, so my guy. <laughs> I was driving on 680 today, and it was this guy in a Crown Victoria, and he's on his rim, on, on his right front tire, his, his and, and, and the rubber from his tire was flying all over the thing. I try to give him the horn and, and, and to, you know, let him know what was going on, and he was just driving like uh, like the cops were after him or something, and he, and he went through a nail spike thing. But, uh, yeah, I, and, and actually, I... I took out the thing from my onboard camera so I could look at it this afternoon when I came home. This is a little chip that is in my, um, uh, what do you call it, dash cam. Yeah. And uh, so I, I was I was looking at it while, uh, you know, uh, not too long ago, just to see, uh, you know, the, t the, fl the things were flying all over the place. Sh sparks were coming out. This guy's driving like he didn't notice a thing. Holy shit. Is he all right, you think? Well, not, not in the head. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I, I, I think you could probably do pretty good having a channel with just those videos of da dash cams. I mean, I... I people, yeah. people, the Russians have. No, I, I used to do, do a thing on, when we were doing the TV version of this show. Uh, used to do one with people and, I, and, I had, and I had a blue screen in back of me. Yeah. And we would play those dash cam videos and I would pretend like I was driving. <laughs> and you know, go rolling off the, you know. So you yeah. used to have them where people would have accidents with guns. One guy shot his hat off, and uh, oh, another woman God. fell down. My favorite, shotgun. my favorite clips that we used to run on the show. I have to tell you, are women in bikinis with machine <clears throat> guns. With machine guns. Yeah, with with oh, with oh, yeah. high powered like AK. G's yeah. or whatever they call those things. <laughs> AK. Whatever. 28s or whatever. Uh, and, and, and women with bikinis. They may still be online shooting guns. No. And, you know, it made them ripple a lot. You know? So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They never had that on uh, NRA TV. No, and they the didn't. If they, had, Gino, if they had, if they had, NRA TV would still be around. Still be around. <laughs> yeah, that died fast, didn't it? Yeah. Is, Scientolo is Scientology? Is Scientology channel? Is the Ch Scientology channel still on? I don't know. I subscribed to both of those, and I I made them under a category on my Apple TV that was just at assholes, <laughs> and uh, uh, I would go there every now and then and see what was happening. But uh, hey, go back anybody, to the what 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 uh, Rob? Rob? I, I heard you mention earlier, and then you just mentioned TV subscribing to TV. Has anybody seen the Apple Channel yet? Yes, I have. That uh, oh, yeah. the Jennifer Aniston. Uh, it's news. very good. It's very good. Yeah, yeah, it is really good. I watched the first four episodes. Yeah, and uh, the uh, the thing about uh, 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 what was it uh, uh, the space program. Uh, oh. I'm trying to remember the name of the of the show. NASA TV? No, no. But it is the premise of the show is the Russians got to the moon before we did. Oh, I wanted to see. That. Is it good? Yeah, it's very good because they. I it, gotta watch that. It's, I want to see that. Yeah. It's it's created by Ronald Moore, who did uh, Deep Space Nine and Battlestar Galactica. Oh, well. 
And make yourself at home. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Your cat. Your language. Your cat is just, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is kitty girl. Man, if she doesn't get her way, she can be a, you can be a little bitch, huh? Making me miss mine. Well, you know what we should do is probably have everybody show us their pets. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe our pets can do the weather. <laughs> We're looking for new formats every hour on the hour. What oh, did you show cute. me a picture? Oh, oh, oh. That, mm. what, what's the name of that? That's your dog, right? Yeah, Ella. How's she doing? Uh, it has a, the cancer hasn't metastasized yet, so she's, mm. she's pooping, she's peeing, she's eating, she's jumping. She's Which is playing, more than any of us are face. doing. Oh, there's your son mm. trying to hide from us, right? Yes. It, all we ever see of him is a blanket over him. Yeah. You know? Is that the uh yeah. No heat. But now does he have it does he have it does he have his blanket over him right now? Whoa. He's got his booty on, yes. Oh, I was gonna say because when he doesn't use in the blanket, just turn over there quickly. Was that was that you, Rob, when you were younger? No, that's that's my my uh, three year old cat. Look how big he is compared he is to that. Wait a minute, let me the blonde, let, let the me blonde see here. Kid with oh, the, wow. uh, Wait a minute, hold on a second. Uh, oh, that, with the blue shirt, that's a big cat. That is a big cat. <laughs> what he, kind of cat? What, what kind of cat is it? Just big. He's a rag doll. A rag doll. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. He's a big boy. They don't they do, they don't walk too well, do they? Are they? Oh no, they're fine. Uh, they can't jump or something. I just heard no, they. <laughs> she goes on top of the refrigerator. They go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Rag dolls can't jump. Oh, <laughs> rag dolls can't jump. So uh, there was no. Uh, there was you know. I it was hardly be, uh, today. There was hardly anything about Trump on the news. Why? Because some kid shot up a school down in, uh, uh, down in where is it again? Uh, you know why? Santa Clarita. Oh, Santa Clarita. Santa Clairvoyant. Yeah. And uh, they, uh, they, uh, the kid shot up there. So uh, all day, that's all they were running, which was fine. How many me. tires went flat during that shooting? Will you stop it? It's not <laughs> funny, Phil. <laughs> It's, there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yes, it is. Even the dummy in the middle was was laughing. Uh, you know the wooden one. <laughs> Show him the dummy. He was laughing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of scary seeing that dummy sitting there. Yeah. You know, it's kind of spooky. It's funny when the cat's sitting on its lap. Hey, Alex, that was your replacement. What? The dummy. The dummy, uh, the dummy. Yeah, could be. Could be. Well, you know, when the cancer finally gets me, um, you know, I'm going to need a replacement, so maybe the dummy can take over. Yeah. I don't think so. Well, you don't think so what? That you're going to die. Okay. Well, you know, I read today, though, that if you reach 80, your life expectancy is 88. Oh, wow, that's pretty. I, 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 I guess they figure if you went that long enough without your wife killing you, you're going to survive a few more years, you know. One more you week. know why men One die young? Week. Why do men die young? Because they want to. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know why women get periods, don't you? Uh, why? Because they deserve it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Now you know, Sean. <laughs> I heard that if they didn't have a pussy, there'd be a bounty on them. Yeah, now, th that's that's a sexist joke. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, and I'm proud of it. Yeah, well. <laughs> you know, what, 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 you just can't have any fun anymore, can we? You know, you everybody could, is so people, upset people, by people, anything people. you would say or do. I What's wonderful about doing this program is... Nobody's coming after me because nobody's watching it. Okay, so it, <laughs> there's, there's twenty-seven right now. There, there, it's as they say, there's safety in no numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you ever, have, Alex? How much did you have to bite your tongue sometimes where you said, "Shit, I really want to say this." Like, what do you mean? You Here, just, never. But no, on, no, on, but on the radio, like on. I kinda, uh, I uh, well, it's serious. If I said half the shit today. 
if I were on Sirius, that I said back then, uh, I wouldn't be there anymore. Well, wait a minute, yeah, I'm not there that. anymore. So, you know, uh, but uh, no, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I was always, I was always kind of tasteless. Didn't you have the, uh, the, uh, the um, bathing suit contest at WMCA in the middle of the winter? You had women coming down. Well, in, I, I know I, I, what I did was yeah. I, I t said I would give away, I don't know, whatever prizes to any woman who showed up in a bikini. <laughs> And it was like it was like five degrees below zero or something <laughs> like that. You said something that was so funny one morning on Sirius. I was. Oh I no, was, this was WMCA. This, this is before was, no, you, this were, you was were born. Serious. You said that somebody, one of the workers there's father opened a pizzeria, and you said the only Italian person I know who could open up a pizzeria and go out of business six months later. <laughs> And I started laughing and I was oh God. I said, because how many guineas go out? He's like, I never heard of that. When By the way, it, folks, he is a, 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 a Italian American, Afro American yeah, guinea or whatever. Italian I don't know American. what the term is. That was funny. I was like, oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> now, Mario Cuomo, a while back, was really bothered. Uh, uh, Chris Cuomo, like, oh, almost slugged somebody out because he called him a uh, guinea. Him huh? They were making names of him at the table or something. Yeah. We know hey, Tony. He all of a sudden he became like a bouncer. Like he wanted to kill the guy. Tony, there, there's yeah. no mafia, right? No. The, the Italians, no there's, there's, there's no mafia. No. You think they're still in power around there? Stands now? for the Mothers and Fathers Italian Association. Yeah. Really? Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, really? it doesn't. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, uh, the, mafia, the mafia still exists. They still do business. They're still around. I don't think they're as powerful as they once were. Well, there, there's plenty of mafias out there. There's Chinese mafia. There's there, and they're way more vicious than the Italian mob ever was. You know, there's a Greek mafia, and if you don't buy those paper coffee cups from them, oh, I like those ones. Oh, the ones they're going to break your legs. The okay. blue ones. Oh, oh the blue ones with the with the thing. Yeah, I always yeah. like those. It's been a pleasure yeah, like serving a you or something like that. It's like know. traditional. Like you I gotta, remember uh, going to the uh, Sons of Sicily dance. Remember that? What to oh, Tony yes. Tantillo would invite us? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. So we were in a room full of Italians, and then there was a shiksa and a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> you should, you yeah. should just say, John, they all would have jumped up. Tony Tantillo, was he the fresh grocer? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he was my best friend at the time. And yep. uh, we, uh, he took me to some great restaurants, man. He just, uh, you know, he, because he did restaurant reviews. So yeah. we would go in and they would make something that wasn't on the menu. You know, remember? He would call me up when I was working at the Oakland airport for UPS and he'd be filming in like Jack London Square and he'd say, what are you doing? I said, well, what are you doing? He said, mm -hmm. well, come on down. We're filming in Jack London Square. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but uh, but then I came to New York and he was working here and I called him up and I saw him once and he's never talked to me since. You know, I mean, it's hey. like well, it's like I didn't have a friend anymore because he was too popular or something. I don't. What's know. he doing now? Same crap. I don't know. I, he was on Channel Two here doing the same old shit. You know, holding up a uh, an orange and saying this is an orange. You know, uh, uh, look at that orange. <laughs> yes. He had a way, he had an ability <laughs> to hold <laughs> fruit better than anybody else on TV. Okay. And uh, he did that for years and years. And I would always occasionally see him. I would watch CBS Sunday morning and he would be doing the green grocer thing just oh, you before know that the guy, the green grocer guy. Yeah. Well, oh, he, he, no, he was called, he was, he called himself Tony Tantillo. Uh, oh, the okay. I guess he called himself the green grocers. I mean, I don't know, but no, anyway, he was the fresh grocer, the fresh grocer, he took over yeah. For yeah. Joe Carcioni. yeah, who was the fresh grocer? That's who right, Joe Carcioni. Uh, I had a neighbor whose father owned the video company. Oh, by the way, by the way, John, new format we just changed, we just changed formats to television personalities you never heard of. Okay, That's go right. ahead, <laughs> go ahead. So anyway, so he uh, he was always on just before uh, CBS Sunday Morning would go on, and I would swear at my TV set, say, "Why haven't you called me, motherfucker?" All right, <laughs> and then, but then uh, recently I turned in, and he wasn't doing it anymore. His daughter was doing it for a while, 
Oh shit! Nepotism at its best. Yeah, and then the then he wasn't doing it anymore. So I don't know. Maybe he got whacked. Maybe they found somebody who was better with fruit than he was. You know. Well, now he'll call you. Of course, of course. Hey, what? you got any work? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. He'll do his fruit on nepotism is what how you got your job. What? Tony got nepotism to get it for his job. Yeah, that's true. I was her last. Oh, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Tony's job is a nepotism job. That's right. Yeah, but she put a bad word. But she's loving it, really. She did he have to change any tires to get that job? No, but but he knows his boss. You know, <laughs> she started out know. in weather. Yeah. He's <laughs> intimately acquainted with his boss. That's I think there's something strange going on. You know what it is. <laughs> Put more salt in the food. I'm telling you, I don't even put salt. I'm watching her salt now because too much. You know, in prison is, they put hey, salt peter in uh, the food. Uh, is, so is Tony mm-hmm. listening to me right now? No, I don't you, think so. Okay, you're not listening right now, are you, Tony? I won't. Now. You do realize where Tony came from, don't you? Where did I? And now he's washing it. <laughs> oh no, that's not my job. No, that's <laughs> the beanstalk. I don't. Yeah, the beanstalk. He, you know, he still thinks to Santa. That's when Nancy comes in, Nan, come over, it's time to wash. <laughs> <laughs> I punch out at that time. Yeah. I was, like, there, I was there. I was there. I was there once and I never <laughs> want to go back. My mother's an elf. I said, My, you're so small. We're gonna get a small casket. I said <laughs> get the measuring stick out, I told her. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, um um uh, Here's Alex on the sofa. N- what? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 right there he the, doesn't know. He doesn't red, know. Uh, he doesn't know it, market. Phil. Be quiet. What's no, that? No. Perfect. The Alex? Huh? The, the, the little wooden thing. What? No. The, the red handkerchief. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, he doesn't know it. Geez, I'm slow right? on the uptake. <laughs> Am I slow? I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the dummy. Now. Yeah, I'm rubbing off on you. Know, I've got the whole computer turned his way, and now it's just all, shh, he doesn't even know. <laughs> and, then, and then Sean's sitting there casually going, yeah, that's right, shut up, motherfucker. You know, he doesn't even know that the camera's on. Him. And now look, my son. <laughs> uh, I never met your son, actually. No. This is the only time I've ever met him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Via Skype. Via huh? Skype. Yeah. I what? I come to New. I came to New York about the time b- b- before you had the kid. Yeah, I had yeah. him in '05. You left in '03. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Two year gestation period. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, listen, uh, he, he, I, he, she, we did think she was pregnant once. And I remember this because you were sheep, you sheepishly said to me, I think oh, I'm, I, was freaking I, out. I think I might be pregnant. And how did I reply to that? You were happy. I said, okay. You know, if yeah. you have a kid, great. You know, I would absolutely, you said I would absolutely trust you as the mother of my. Yeah. Yeah. And then what did he do? He, he asked you, what is your name again? Yeah. <laughs> and then I handed her a coat hanger and I left. <laughs> yeah. God. No, but I, 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 I even surprised myself with that answer. But I, it, I always felt that if I had had a kid by you, uh, uh, the, the biggest fear I ever had was having a kid by, by somebody I didn't want to have it with. And somebody that I didn't trust to be a good mother. And I never for a moment doubted that you would be a good mother. In spite of the fact you had none of the qualities. You were just too goofy. <laughs> you know. Yes. But she got pregnant. She had a kid. And she's turned. Look at this kid. He turned out to be fine. Except for the How fact. How you look? He's under a cover. I know. I know. We've seen him a couple <laughs> of times. Mothers but, are the best. Huh? Goofy mothers are the best. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. Is uh, uh, is he is she fun? Oh, my yes. Oh. Say it louder. Well, that yes. was. Say it louder! I'll beat you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to get an answer. Boy, this show is just amazing <laughs> tonight. It's going downhill fast, people. Well, so oh. how many pounds of air? Did you put in the tire? Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. 
<laughs> Phil, Phil, you didn't check. We changed formats. Oh, my God. No more tires? We changed formats to sun under blanket format. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that's, that's hot stuff. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, hot air stuff. Yeah. Do you like it so far, Rob? Is it working for you? The the sun under blanket? Yeah. I mean, oh, I think it's a winner. Yeah, I think it's a winner. And I actually like the idea of a new format every thirty minutes because yeah. it keeps it it keeps it fresh. Yeah. Or at the rate we're going, a new format every five minutes. But it's you a know. show about some things. Yeah. Like, you know, we have all this stuff going on, which would drive Phil apoplectic if we talked about it uh, and bring out the worst in him. But uh, I don't mind a kid under the blanket. <laughs> you know, and, and I probably if I we sat here and we started talking about. Uh, oh, there he There's is. The See, kid. there he is. He's right in the banana back. boy now. Yeah. He's look at him. The, the there he is. There he is. Yeah. Boy, that yeah. How did you it's you he turned out okay? This kid. The last time I saw a picture of him, he was like chubby and everything, and now he's not. Yeah. No, well, he he's built just like my dad, and my dad was stocky mm -hmm. until high school. He shot up to six five, and this kid's already shooting up. How tall is he? He's almost as tall as me, so he's probably about five nine, five ten. Wow. Wow. Well, you're what? Yeah, you're trying you're, to get rid of the fentanyl. Stop him from shooting up. Yeah, well, yeah. Wait, well, wait a minute. Wait, you're, you're, you were 6'1", if I remember correctly, right? With shoes on. With shoes on. Because how tall are you, 6'2"? No, I was six feet. I was shorter than you by just a little bit. No, you were not. Yes, I was. Not not. Was two. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, we just changed formats okay, again. This is point. called Two People Argue Radio. Arguing. <laughs> Are two are not are two are not are two. Neener neener. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, we could we could probably get some very decent numbers if we started yelling and screaming about what a douchebag Trump is. I have but a metal straw. <laughs> <laughs> so Try like blowing some air into the tire with well, that. Well, I have uh, I I have a plastic. Anybody know what this is? It should be very familiar to you. Is that what Plastic. you use in between the 45 RPM record? No. It should be very familiar to you. That is a stir, a coffee stir from Starbucks. Although probably since oh, they've gone anti-plastic, they're not that's using it. That's what they put in the when you get a Starbucks in your car. So, so, that it so it doesn't spill. spill. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. spill, but it also works as a stir. Yeah. It's. I think it was a great invention. It is a good invention. You know, um, I think the more tray, the, that, the, the, the paper tray they give you is a good invention, too, you know, so that you can carry multiple drinks at the same time. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I, I like those uh, plastic little knives when we were kids and our parents would have cocktails. Man, we wanted one of those so bad, but they'd never let us. What do you mean plastic knives? How about the umbrella? <laughs> no, not the umbrella. The we paper, wanted the, the paper sword. umbrella. Well, I think the greatest invention of all time was the spork, and yeah, and yeah. why they only made them in plastic, I have no idea. I thought that would be great to have, like you know, a spork, just they a metal spork. Kentucky, Kentucky Fried Chicken always had the spork along yeah. with a packet of uh, salt and pepper and uh, a thing to wipe your fingers with by the way i gotta tell you i i have we have we are still hooked on and i get it Pires. every now and then uh kentucky uh, uh, uh popeye's, popeyes chicken popeye's chicken had, the, the chicken sandwich didn't make its return it's still not the popeyes is still not selling somebody was fighting over it you know, there were somebody shot somebody the other day over one uh, it, oh shit in a school it was crazy it was crazy I yeah. pulled up. I, I I left a meeting one day. Mm -hmm. Three of my teammates. For, nobody said a word to each other. We all left, and it was like dinner time. And on the way home, two hour drive, I ran into two of them coming out of Popeyes. We were all had Jones in for this chicken sandwich. <laughs> I had to go to three places because they didn't have the sandwich, and because everybody wanted the sandwich and they didn't have it. You couldn't get chicken. You couldn't get strips. You would get to the drive-thru, and they would say, 
welcome to Popeyes. We only have this, this, and this. And, and I went straws. Like, three different so Popeyes. Chicken shortage? On just no, a chicken sandwich shortage. I know, but which created a, a chicken shortage. Unbelievable. And now it's still not out yet. They still don't have that chicken. You know, at some of these places like McDonald's, they make a chicken or a a sandwich and it's not really chicken. Uh, They press this shit together and it it makes it look like chicken. Yeah. Yeah. But you're you're eating nuggets are that way. Yeah, nuggets. nuggets. Well, yeah, isn't the isn't the, the isn't isn't the Popeye yeah. sandwich just yeah. simply one of their pieces of chicken without the bone in it? I'll tell you what. Put the, between the, the Popeye's chicken sandwich, I was lucky enough before it really caught on when it was still in like a test mode. Yeah. Had it twice, and it's it the is the best chicken sandwich. Really? Chick Fil A. Forget chicken. Well, wait a minute. Chick Fil A is dry compared to Popeyes. Uh, what makes it so? Nope, what makes it so? By the way, we just changed format in case people didn't. didn't chicken, <laughs> all chicken out. for the next fifteen He's minutes. Burger King chicken. Uh, but but uh, uh, what what was so great about it? Because I heard it was just their normal chicken between two no. pieces of bread. No, the the batter on the chicken. Yeah. The 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 sauce, like a Dijon or whatever it is that they use, mm-hmm. and that. Brioche bun. Very good. Have really? you ever noticed what Popeyes tastes like if you don't eat it for a few hours? And uh, yes, it, tastes, oil, it tastes great. The oil, it, it, it tastes it great. It tastes great. It tastes great. It tastes yeah. great. I've, I've never had it. I've I, never I, been I, to Popeyes. Right I've never been to Chick-fil-A. Yes. Let me let me apprise you of something. Paul Prudhomme, who was undoubtedly one of the great New Orleans chefs, did my show once. And I, I said to him, and I had asked, uh, I had asked, um, um, uh, what's her name, Julia Child, this question, like, uh, what uh, fast food do you like? And she said, well, before they changed the oil, you know, before they went to lard or something like that, before they went to uh, some kind of canola oil or something, she said, the French fries at McDonald's were wonderful. Mm-hmm. And so I figured I'd ask the same question of Paul Prudhomme. And I said, what do you think is like the best fast food franchise? And he said, undoubtedly Popeyes. Number one, because the people who started it were my protégés, and the people who work it are my protégés. And, and he said, if you want the best red beans and rice anywhere, go to Popeyes. How does Absolutely. Julia T- Childs make a leek salad? First you take a leek. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, uh, but no, but I, I'm serious. Uh, he said that, the, and I, I then went out and got the red beans and rice, and I got to tell you, uh, I was at a restaurant once that had red beans and rice, and it sucked. And I said to them, I said, I got an idea for you. Get a bucket. Go down to Popeye's and get their red beans and rice and bring it back here, and you'll have a hit. I said, and it was, it's, it was great. The red beans it's and rice. Stuff. And so the, 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 the food at Popeye's is designed by New Orleans chefs. They own the company. And uh, uh, the, the chicken, terrific. You know, terrific. they got these little plastic chicken. packets of sauce, and you can in take fact, as many as you want. In fact, because of my diet, I get the Popeye's chicken, and then I take the batter off of it and just eat the chicken. How dare you? Right? <laughs> I, eat, I, I eat a little bit of it, so I get a taste of it. Oh, I, but, I would. But that what, would be impossible for me to do. Well, wait a minute. Hold not, on a second. I'm, I'm, I I, let me tell you this: the chicken alone, because of whatever is it's cooked in or whatever, is delicious. Even if you don't oh, have yeah. the batter, even if you but don't have this, the batter, I would. If somebody, if somebody went out and bought it, and they did that, and they brought it to my house without the skin, I would enjoy it. If I had to peel that off and not eat that batter, there's no way. Yeah. Now, yeah. which there's Kentucky no Fried Chicken batter do you like? The extra crispy or the original? I think it's soggy. I'm not a big fan. Well, no, I wouldn't go. To, wouldn't go to extra crispy. Would, good. Well, they, yeah, they, yeah. They don't. They don't have the uh, Popeyes everywhere. I don't. There's like an that. Arco gas station that's got one in it in Concord, and it's well, kind of out of the way. Popeyes is. Uh, it, it don't go to uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Go to Popeyes. Popeyes is terrific. You know, it yeah. really is. Uh, and that's why people are killing themselves all over the chicken sandwich. It's crazy. Stupid. I would go. What? Who said I'll go? Is that your son? Yeah, yeah, my son. 
Yeah, well, are you going to take the blanket with you? <laughs> you going to uh, take the blanket so with no, you? So nobody can see you? Yeah, go rob Popeyes for me. Well, you heard a bubble boy. Now we got blanket boy. <laughs> blanket <laughs> <laughs> boy. Boy in the cotton blanket. Followed by boy You know, in the we have managed to go oh. almost through this entire show without talking about anything relevant or important. And now... Uh, uh, <laughs> Josh, You're gonna spoil it. <laughs> Josh will will summarize the show for today. Josh, make America great again. <laughs> <laughs> Change a tire for Trump. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. And uh, um, uh, and then uh, where? Oh, there's Tony. Okay, Tony, how's your mother right now? Is she okay? Still breathing. Still breathing? <laughs> what do you do? You get you have a mirror you take in there and put them in front of her face? I'll take a, oh no, she snores a little bit. She's small, but she can snore. I don't know where it comes from, Alex. Yeah, right. what is, what now, is she's this? sleeping. Now she was I, I put the TV on sleep. She's watching Game Show Network. We watch old game shows from the seventies. That's what we do. My during, mother used uh, to do that. Yeah, that's because loves. you know the outcome. You know, Everybody if you watch all the game answers, show, then you know too. how to win. Who can remember them from that long ago? I, I, I mean, quick, I like quickly, I used, to have, I used to have a girlfriend who, who lived up in uh, Northern California. She had this place, and she had a satellite dish. And it was in those days when on the satellite dish you could get all these shows that they were sending down for syndication and so on. So we would yeah, sit right. there. We would sit there and watch Jeopardy, five episodes for the week, all coming down one right after the other. Then I would go back to San Francisco, invite people over to my home, say, "Oh, Jeopardy's on. Turn on Jeopardy and answer everything." <laughs> you should go to the show. Yeah, yeah, so. that would be good. <laughs> Well, this is well, how would we sum up this show tonight, Josh? I guess so you put it right. Make America great again. Uh, yeah. Because this show has certainly been grating. Yeah, there was no <laughs> Trump and everything was fine. And everything was fine. Tires yeah. great again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we eliminated Ghost. Trump from the equation and everything magically got better. Yeah. By the way, I, I'm, I'm, just quickly, I'm me. not doing a show on. I'm, on I'm not going to do a show on Tuesday, not because I don't think I'll be able to, but I'm having my biopsy that day, and I have to get up so early that I just don't yeah. know if I will be in any condition to do a show and not be completely tired and whatever. So now, so, do they have to take your food and water away the night before, like we do the cat? No, 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 no. no. Okay, the, the cat. <laughs> yeah, you know, like when you got to take your cat in or whatever to do something, or your dog, they always make you always feel terrible about yeah, that. No, like, I think that's you know. when they put you under. The only thing I need to do is take a fleet um, animal before I go down there. I don't know why. I think he just doesn't want to have to look at my shit. You know, and anyway, <laughs> hey, listen, everybody, this has been terrific. That. This has been the best <laughs> show we've done all year. Uh, <laughs> no Trump show. Yeah. Uh, 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 it, uh, Phil, thank you, Phil. Uh, you were uh, quite, you were a nice person tonight. Uh, very good. Good. Uh, Josh, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Schmoody. Kathleen. Next time, I'll wear my blanket. Yes. yes. Uh, thank you Blanket so much, night. Jeff. Good seeing you uh, down there in Atlanta. Hopefully, maybe we'll see you from Miami. Uh, also, thank you very much, Tony. I hope your mother uh, uh, stays alive so you can keep having a job. And, of course, Rob, two nights in a row. What the hell's going on here? Thank you very um, much, Rob. Orlando. Hey, yeah. Uh, Everybody, uh, why don't you give a big uh, wave goodbye, and I will wave back at you. Okay, okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, I uh, I, I had the wrong thing on. I should have had the fade, but I didn't have it. I screwed up. It's the only time I screwed up tonight, though. Let me uh, let me uh, close out the uh, Skype line so that the next program, which is Jack Bishop in the intersection, can use the Skype lines. Uh, meanwhile, I will be back again tomorrow night, right after Damian Chaplin does the exchange at 9.30 Eastern Time. I'll be here at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.